Hi there, it's Miss Gretchen here. Today we're going to learn about a new kind of note. When we first learned, we learned about quarter notes, which took up one beat. And when we counted those, we counted them one, two, three, four. So we had a number for each note. But now we're going to want to put some quicker notes in between them. So let's change our counting a little bit so we'll be able to do that easily. All we're going to do down here on the second line is to put an and between each one of them. So we'll still clap on the numbers, but we're going to say an and. So it would go like one and two and three and four and. Do that with me. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and. So now down on the next line, here's where we're going to learn about the eighth notes. The eighth notes fill in those ands. So you can see when you look at the counting, there's a, a note for every number and every and. And the, the, they're put together in pairs of two notes by a bar between them. That's how we know it's an eighth note. So listen to this. It would be one and two and three and four and. So I have a clap, which is a note on every number and and. Clap that with me. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and. Nice. So now we have quarter notes and we have eighth notes. And you can guess no song is made up of just those. So we need to mix them up. So let's look at this mixing them up part down here. So at the beginning of this one, I'm going to have just a clap on one and on two for the quarter notes. One and two and. And then my eighth notes are going to be three and four and. Listen to the whole measure together. One and two and three and four and. Do that with me. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and. Yay! Our first thing of them mixed up. Now let's go down to the next line. And they're, they're backward here. We have the eighth notes first. So the eighth notes at the beginning are going to be one and two and. And then our quarter notes are three and four and. We only clap on three and four. Listen to that whole measure together. One and two and three and four and. Clap it with me. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and. Nice. And though they can mix up those quarter notes and eighth notes in any way that they want. We're going to see lots of songs with those in them after this. The only other thing I want to tell you is to tell you about the about how they could write eighth notes in this bottom line here. We saw them right now in groups of two, but we also saw them in groups of four. But really, what an eighth note all by itself looks like are these guys in the second measure here. They have little tails on them. And so I think about it as if they want to put them together, they can take the little tails and they can hook the little tails together to make the bar. And they could put either two of them together or four of them together. So you might see them in any of those ways, two together, four together, or all by themselves. So I hope you have fun with this.